With 42 days to go before the issue of writs for the 2022 national elections, the political actions among leaders has been the front and center of public attention. In anger, Governor Grand Chief Sir Peter Ipatas and Kopiam Ambum MP Sir John Pundari have exchanged words on allegations of corruption and good governance in the province. Sir John Earle, in an interview, alleged that Grand Chief Sir Peter Ipatas manipulated the appointment of public servants in the province. It would be nice to always align with provincial government so we can be able to share resources and get greater outcomes. But insofar as my district is concerned, uh, there is little to show for provincial government's investment in my district. However, Sir Peter denied these claims and urged Sir John to respect the administration of the province, especially public servants and the public service machinery in the province. We have uh, delegated powers. So the public service, the administrator still reports to the personal management secretary. In village courts, village courts appointments, everything is done by the Department of Justice. Our provincial uh, law and order officers only send the paperwork down to the Justice Department here and they do the appointments. The governor went on and challenged Sir John to tell the people of Anger what he had done in the district and the province as a whole. Uh, my good uh, fellow knight and member for uh, Kobe Mambu, that uh, for him he has to tell the people of Kombi Ambu in this capacity, what he has done for the people for the last 25 years. I think the people know what I've done for Inga, and I want to uh, state clearly here that he has also occupied some senior positions in government over the 25 years. Speaker, Deputy Prime Minister, Minister for Land, as a national leader. He has to tell the nation what he has done for this nation. But Sir John said only the people will make the decision on who is telling the truth and what basic services they needed in the province. People to go and check for themselves on the realities of uh, what we the leaders have achieved in each of the districts.